I'm here to say good riddance to 2022, but you know, I'm, I'm not gonna like hold my breath on 2023. We're just gonna keep the bar a little bit low. This video is about the ultimate best of my best, okay? Like I am giving you the number one products that I loved all year long that I used the most that I think are pretty much no fail when it comes to makeup. If you guys are not familiar with my channel, if you're new here, welcome. I am Kate the Great and I do only feature vocally pro-choice beauty so you can be assured that everything I talk about here today is a brand that actually cares about the people they make money off of and they actually support abortion rights. This is like taking every favorites video I did for the entire year, calling through my favorites of those favorites and then presenting them to you here. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I am drinking, this is so delicious. I am drinking the Brooklyn Brewery. It's a limited release. Ooh, uh, it's the black chocolate stout. It is an imperial stout and it is 10% ABV. Woohoo! Mm. Mm, so good. A lot of what I'm talking about here today, I tried to wear on my face and everything I'm talking about here today is going to be linked down below in the description box. Those are affiliate links. They just get me a small commission if you make a purchase. And I think anybody who shops through my links because it really, really helps support my channel. So let's start with a product I don't even have on hand. How about that? I don't have the Merit Great Skin. I am waiting with bated breath for that shit to come back into stock. I check it every day, okay? So just lean on me, depend on me, because I will let you know when this comes back into stock because I cannot wait to get my hands on it. This is just an incredible skincare product. It really is kind of like a serum slash a really light facial oil in one. It hydrates your skin in this incredible way and just gives you this bouncy glow that is also perfect to put makeup over. I have a runner up for skin prep slash primer and that is the Ritual de Fee Thorn Oil Priming Facial Elixir. Once again, I use this not only as uh, makeup prep, I use this as my facial oil at night when I go in and do my gua sha stone. It's beautifully hydrating, but it also is relatively light. It gives you that really nice light slip when you're doing gua sha, but it also absorbs into the skin beautifully. So moving on to foundation and my number one foundation of the year is none other than my Salt New York Sneaky Balm. So I use a combination of two shades. You can see this is my most loved shade. It is N12 and this is N13. So it's a little bit lighter. I'm paler right now. So I've been mixing the two of those. I have it on my skin today and guys, I cannot say enough about this magical damn foundation product. Like I've never seen anything like it ever. I apply it with a brush, which I find is the best, easiest, way to apply it. It glides onto your skin and there has never been a day I put this on where I was like, no, I didn't, my, my skin didn't take well to that. And that is something that I pay attention to. Like if a product is good on some days, not good on others, that's not going to be the best of the best. You know what I mean? And I also have to say as a New Yorker, I love the fact that Salt New York is based in New York. Uh, Kiki runs it with like a couple other people. She does most of it, a lot of the work by herself. I love the aesthetic of Salt New York. I love the minimalism of Salt New York. I just think it's so chic. And I wanna let you know that I always have a code with Salt New York and it is located in my description box. You can also use that with other promos going on in the site. Yes, you can use your own Z palettes if you don't wanna purchase the Salt Z palettes. Although I have to tell you, these are the best Z palettes I have ever seen. And also they're the most aesthetic beautiful. They're also vegan. They're just, oh, they're chef's kiss. I love them so much. Next, we're moving on to concealer and I have one concealer and it is not brand new. In fact, it's old as hell. It's my Glossier Stretch Concealer, guys. This went out this year and this was on like, I think the first video I ever did or one of the first videos I ever did on my channel. This continues to be the concealer that I reach for the most, especially ever since I went pro-choice. This is just one out entirely. I never feel like I put too much on. It's just an instant brightener. It's creamy. I think this is my second jar of this and I use it almost every time I do my makeup. I also have like redness and like broken capillaries around my nose. So this is just the perfect thing to like dip into and just blend it out really quickly. I do it every time I film almost because I blow my nose and I wanna make sure that I don't look like Rudolph. So this is my go-to. Okay, so the next category is powder and I don't have a product for this. Could I talk about powders that I thought were really, really good? Sure I could, but that's not what this video is. This video is the best of the best. And I just haven't found a powder, a pro-choice powder that has blown my hair back. 
you know what I mean? Like I have powders that I'm like, oh, that's really good, but haven't found it yet. This is what I'm looking to do. This is what I have on my face today. Charlotte Tilbury is not a pro-choice uh, makeup brand, but I wanted to remind myself of what it was about this that I love so much. And I am on the hunt for a pressed powder that has the blurring qualities of this. Like when I put this on my skin again, I was like, damn, that's what I need. So I have heard my friend Chase told me that the MAC Mineralize powder is actually really excellent. So that's what I'm looking to get. But if you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Okay, so the next category, I know, get excited, it's blush. I don't have like a number one in this category. I have several ties. First, I wanna mention what I have on my face today, and it is a combination of two different Persona cream blushes. This is their multi-stick. First, I went in with the shade Teddy, which I know looks super brown here, but when I put it on my skin, it's more of like a peachy sort of nude tone. So I went in with this and then on the apples of my cheek, we have a little ingenue moment. And I went in with bubble, which is like my favorite thing to do. Just go in, apples of the cheeks. I'm even putting a little bit more on for you to see right now. Look, look at how damn cute that is. Like what's even happening? I love Persona. I feel like they're a brand that doesn't really get talked about as much. They're such an incredible, affordable brand that makes amazing formulas. I think everyone should just have this color right here, bubble, so they can go boop, boop. Another cream blush that is a favorite is of course the Salt New York Lip and Cheek Tints. If I travel, I throw these two palettes in my bag and I go. That's what I did when I went to Vegas. This is pretty much like almost all the makeup I packed. I have all of their current shades right now. I would definitely say that my most used one is Rose, which you can kind of tell right here. But my new favorite right here is called Mauve. And I did a combination of Mauve with a little bit of Sunburnt right there, boop, on the apple of my cheek and it was amazing i know i put blush on but i swear to you i can always put on more this is mauve yes i almost feel like i needed this this is perfect uh, angry like yeah that just did it for me right there i also fell re in love with the rare beauty soft pinch blushes particularly in this shade which is the shade hope risa does makeup actually turned me on to this and i just think it's like the prettiest peachy pink shade. The thing about these that I always like to mention is they are quite pigmented. It's so good, but it is very pigmented. Now, you're not gonna deal with that as much with the other blush I wanna talk about, which is the Say Do blush. This is the Say Do blush. I chose the shade Chili because it is a perfect Aspen cheek and I am obsessed with it. What if I'm just like one big face of blush by the end of this? Is that gonna be okay? Well, we'll find out, won't we? I mean, I know you're not really seeing like what the shade looks like in particular because I already have blush on. I want you to see how this blends out. Like, do you see how that gave me a little bit more dewiness? These blushes are, well, they're called the Dew Blush. So I have one product for the eyeshadow category and it is of course the Kaja Beauty Bento Eyeshadow Stacks. I love these so much. These were sent to me by Kaja. I think they sent me almost all of their shades. I am wearing their Rose Water Stack today, which I know is very popular and I now understand why because I'm wearing this middle shade right here. It is like my dream shade. It is like the perfect sort of subtle shimmery, not too purple, not too pink. Oh my God, it is so gorgeous. Like what? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There's even a little bit of beige. Get the hell out of town. This is it. If you're not a shimmer person, do not fear because some other stacks are mixed. So they have mattes and shimmers and some other stacks are just mattes. So there's something for everyone. I literally just patted this in with my finger and then went over it with a super soft, fluffy brush. Just kind of pearlized it. Just kind of made sure everything was nice and blended. It took literally a second. I just love these so much. I've fallen in love with Kaja. I love you, Kaja. So we're moving on to the eyeliner category. I have two suggestions. They're tied because they're both a little bit different. First of which is the Persona eyeliners. Now this is what I have on today. These are so soft and so buttery. These have been a pretty good dupe for the Victoria Beckham eyeliners that I loved so much. Okay, so these are a very buttery pigmented formula, but can I suggest this shade Plum? This almost goes on a little bit diffused. That's the best way I can say it. So that means you can really just kind of like make no mistakes. It's very smudgy. So I go in, 
And then once I put my mascara on, I kind of go in again, just making sure not to touch the mascara, but kind of going in and perfecting a little bit. Oh my God, it's so easy to do with this pencil. This is the Bobbi Brown, the best eye pencil, and I love this. Now, what I will say is that this is not quite as buttery uh, as the Persona. So if you're someone who wants that, this would be a great option for you. It's not going to lay down the pigment like the second you uh, press the pencil to your eye, which is kind of nice because you can kind of go in, you can make mistakes, whatever you want, and just buff it away really easily. So these are both really beautifully formulated, reliable eyeliners. Okay, moving on to mascara. I have one mascara. What do you think it is? I didn't even bother to clean this up for you. Isn't that nice? That's okay, it just shows you how loved it is. This is the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. I'm wearing it on my lashes today. This is absolutely my favorite pro-choice mascara. It's got that nice curved brush, so it also gives you a curl. It does give me length and lushness to my lashes, which is what I'm always looking for. It wears well. I don't deal with flaking or smudging or anything like that. This is just like my number one mascara. Mm. <laughs> okay, so moving on to bronzers, and this is hands down my number one bronzer recommendation. These are the Merit Bronze Balms. These are sheer, okay? So if you don't like a sheer, dewy bronzer, you're not gonna like these. If you're someone who wants something, again, really approachable, easy to use, that you're just, you're not gonna come out looking like you put this on heavy handed. I personally love this formula. I think it's just enough. I do like to have two different shades and I like to mix them. So this is the shade Sen and this is the lighter shade Clay. I'm always erring on not wanting to look like I have bronzer on. I want to look like I have the most natural bronze ever, and that's what this gives me. They just go on, like look at that. The other category I do not have a product for is brows. So I just wanna mention that again, it's not that I don't have some good products I could mention, like right now I'm wearing my Benefit Brow Gel. It's nice, still looking for like the brow gel that's going to blow me away, that's gonna replace the Kosas brow gel, and I haven't quite found it. I haven't found that like Goldilocks formula that's just stiff enough, but not too stiff. The next category is lips. And this might come as a surprise to you because one of my top products is a brand new product for me, but it's kind of blown me away. And they are the Pacifica Complex Lip Balms. Now I have to laugh at the name because I'm glad they're complex, but it just sounds like a really <laughs> intense name for a makeup product. Like they're complex. This is what I wanted the Make Serum Balms to be, which they're not at all. This is that thick, plushes, hydrating formula that sticks to my lips but is not tacky and it literally feels like a lip mask. Look at that pigment. Mm, that like beautiful juicy popsicle lip. Look at that. This is what I've been using nonstop. I love this so much. I have two shades and these were sent to me by Pacifica. I don't really get it. They don't have shades. This one is called Dreamy Youth and it's the berry shade, which I guess you can tell because the container is purple. And then this is called Vegan Collagen. And this is a more like sort of iridescent light pinky purpley shade, which is also right up my alley. And the other product I love this year that I feel like didn't really get enough play because every single brand came out with a lip product like this, which I, I love, I love this type of product. It's like a comfortable cross between like a gloss and a balm. It's hydrating, it's emollient. Anyway, this is the Glossier Ultra Lip. I actually have this as a base on my lips underneath my lip gloss, but I will just reach for this on its own. And this is a product that I can absolutely apply without a mirror when I'm out and about, and I don't look like a clown when I look in the mirror or like a five-year-old girl who put on her mother's lipstick. I personally love the shade Villa. I just feel like it is this beautiful sort of sheer peachy pink shade. You know I love a peachy pink, clearly, but I have all the shades and they're all gorgeous. To me, these are like the same as say the M Cosmetics lip cushions. I think that's what they were called. I loved those. The formulas are so similar. And I also wanna give a shout out to a matte lip. And you guys know I don't love a matte lip, okay? I don't keep many of them around because like I said, I just want a lip product that I can apply easily, 
that I don't have to use precision to look in a mirror, all that stuff. But I will tell you, these Rare Beauty Kind Words lipsticks were my favorite lip, like actual lipsticks of the year. Obviously they're a matte lipstick, but they go on very similarly to the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. The shade Humble, this isn't the shade Humble, but the shade Humble in the Rare Beauty is actually a dupe for Pillow Talk, like a legit dupe, and I did a video about that. So if you're a person who likes a matte lip, but wants it to be comfortable, which like, who doesn't want that? You will love these. And the corresponding lip liners are incredible. These are one of the only matte lipsticks I have kept in my collection after all my years on YouTube. If that's not a testimonial, I don't know what is. So last but not least, I'm moving on to glow products slash highlighters and I have two products for you. Number one glow product of the year is hands down, no competition, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I have this in, I think, the lightest shade, yes. This is a do-it-all product and it actually does it all. You can use it as a base, you can mix it into your foundation, you can mix it into your skincare, you can use it as a highlighter, you can also, you know, put it on your decollete for a nice glow. This looks so incredibly natural. It looks like you put a gorgeous, dewy second skin on. Look at that gorgeous, natural glow, no bling. It just looks like you came from the spa and had an incredible facial. Cannot say enough about this. And then I'm gonna tack on the fact that this is under $15 and it's like, what's even going on? This is probably one of my most talked about products of the year. So this is definitely last but not least. These are the Merit Day Glow Highlighting Balms and my god these are just absolutely gorgeous i'm going to of course put some on for you because i'm extra just like a beautiful lit from within natural glow wow i equally love these two shades the shade that i just applied is called kava which is a beautiful champagne and then i also have the shade bounce which is a rose gold but honestly it's not like that dramatically different. There is bounce right there. Okay guys, so that wraps up my best of 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Your support means the world to me. 2022 was a difficult year for my, a good year for my channel, but a difficult year for my channel. Just challenging in terms of switching everything over to pro-choice beauty. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Bye. Mm. <laughs>